let's say, uh, in the latter portions of the game, with both Ling and Aldous being a very difficult heroes to deal with, and so much damage that can come out from from those two, it could be Cade's game. But in the early stages, it's Rafaela and Bane. So much tempo that they can that they can play with. Not to mention they can also use this Farsa for more damage. And as well as this Bakito to give them the crowd control that they need, the peeling that they need in the early stages. So it's gonna be very difficult because it's gonna take a perfect game from both the Esmeralda as well as this Lu Yi to be able to just stop the aggression from Lackless International. Yeah, well, let's get straight into game number two. Ladies and gentlemen, break the code or Cade. Let's see who gets the victory here because Cade already pushing in, getting that little wander in the early stage. First minute will be controlled by Cade because, again, Lo Yi and Ling. There's a lot of mobility here. There's a very good farming, very fast farming, and the pressure that Matilda and Lo Yi can assert. But wait a minute, May, Mikey doing a very, very aggressive engage right now, and he's going to get taken down even though Prime gets that diversion, that rotation in. That was too greedy, too greedy by Mikey. And there was really nothing that he can achieve there, especially because this will be a trio you know, inside of Blacks International. Rafael as well as the Farsa will group up together so that they can protect twice. And they will only to take maybe two to three minutes that they need to babysit twice. Afterwards, they can just take the objectives, take the turtle, and uh, choose to fight somewhere else. Somewhere else. Mm -hmm. and so far, Luis is holding his own into the top lane. Yeah, I think both Mikey and as well uh, as well as Prime really need to communicate with each other there. That situation yeah, could be right. completely... It should not have happened, but now Luis, he's going to get... Oh! Yep, there we go. Oh. It's a quick, easy pick off for the side, and Oh My oh, Venus man. is just such a good enabler with the Holy Healing giving that extra movement speed. Most people would be caught off by a literal second off when they're thinking, yeah, they should be rotating up top side, but, you know, maybe a second later. Yeah, but did you see the deadly catch? It was actually really well predicted there. Luis flickered and wise, he knows what he was going to do. The deadly catch to catch him off, and now look at how much they were able to chunk down that turret gold. But Turtle will be traded on the other side of the map. Even though Blacklist International finds something on the map, Cade, they don't want to give it for free, instantly taking it down in that bottom side. Yeah, great. Uh, great adjustment coming out from Prime. He actually used the ultimate so that he can get to the top lane quickly. I mean, he wasn't literally into the top turret, but at least they were able to defend. The fact that they brought the passive onto Weiss meant that Weiss will not be able to stay on top of the turret for quite a long time. That's why the outer turret energy shields up top weren't really completely depleted. Although, Luis was denied of two minions up top, at least he is able to trade with the turtle. The Aldous is not having a good time, man. Right now, he is getting completely bullied out of his lane. And Blacklist International already with a 500 gold lead. You can expect this to keep on going up because they are playing these individual lanes so, so well. Mm -hmm. They need to do something here because Luis can't do it. Here comes the contract. He's gonna get out of there, but... It's still so, so brutal to watch. Look at that. Luis just cannot sit in his lane for longer than like a minute. Yeah, the thing is, for Kane itself, they try to rotate to the top side. Now, oh, oh no, Edward knows where he's going and Wise will be able to pick him up with the airstrike and finish him off. And that is the second time that Luis will be picked off in this game. King, is he going to look for an engage here? Edward is alone. They are isolating him really, really well, but the different targeting from Takashi going in for the falling star moon onto Haji. Wise is able to just disengage from that. Takashi gets chunked to half and Blacklist still stay on top. So far, I think at this point in time, Kate is getting a little too greedy. Their pathing is greedy. Their yes, draft is greedy. They, they could have avoided a lot of these situations at Blacklist International. Playing strong fundamentals are just punishing them. And Ole already has got his endless battle as the mid lane definitely is controlled by Haji. There's really no way for Kate to be able to push this mid lane turret. I would, I would honestly assume that Blacklist International will be able to keep this mid lane for maybe about 12 minutes. It's because of the fact that they have the far side, and there's really no hard engage from Key. They are. They need to wait for more time before they're able to fight. Oh, maybe not though. Okay, they want to go in for this. Going in for the Divine Sword all the way to the back side. Temple's Blaze as well. Wise will be able to get the Retribution on the Turtle, but Luis, he is going in. He doesn't have the damage just yet, and he's going to get taken down a little bit too greedy here, fighting before the Aldous even hits a Power Spike. I mean, we don't even need to talk about Power Spike. He's 0-3-0 and zero right now. Definitely not a good score to go for the plays right, uh, as of this moment. I think they were hoping to catch up a lot more than that, right? Yeah. You, you definitely see that Luis, yes, he's behind. He's also level 5 here, hoping to at least get one kill somewhere across the board because the rest of Kayla, and especially for like uh, King and Prime, they've got some form of early game damage. They should have been able to do a bit more. 
Oh man, Takahashi just oh. received the big amount of damage coming out from Weiss. Turtle buff with the Bane and so much items and so much gold lead now that Blacklist International are able to Blue get. Now they will be trying to push this bottom lane. And King can defend though. Oh my god, Edward, so much damage already, but in the top side. Oh my, Venus forced to back away very, very low right now as King and Edward go at it in that bottom side. Still 2,000 gold lead. Oh my god, Edward almost predicts that Finch poise and gets the kill. King forced to recall right now, but Takashi might be going for the 1v1, maybe forcing it. He still has that falling sound win, but he doesn't want to commit just yet. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a, I think it's a good time to talk about this because Edward is going to be a big enabler for this team because so far, I, I think, you know, if Black this international wants to play defensive like how they are now to play oppressively that's totally okay but if they want to start pressing their advantage a lot of it is going to be edward looking for those big flanks those big spearheads in the middle of gate to allow blacklist international to kind of catch them off guard yeah, and now look at what Blacklist International just loves doing. They go in, but Takashi already charging up that Falling Star Moon. Gonna go in onto Wise. No follow -up. He's all alone. Deadly Catch almost connects to him, but he actually baits two ultimates. That Holy Blue Baptism as well. Wise almost takes that front. The Retribution as Edward is waiting in there. King needs to be careful, or anyone honestly needs to be careful. Prime is going to be chunked very to half HP, actually not very low. And Edward still not making a move. King though, going in for the Divine Sword onto Haji will just zone them away. I think the Edward's plan was to stop this um, this link to get into the Lord uh, into the turtle. I mean, uh, it's maybe way too early. However, Blacklist International still is making a beeline towards the turtle and might be able to take this so easily. As again, he they don't have the fighting chance yet. Yeah, if they keep on forcing these fights, I'm sorry to say this is not going to be looking good for them at all. Red King tries to go the for the turtle. steal, but why is it just too clean with that retribution? So efficient. Yep, I mean, so far the game's going in favor of Blacklist International. They don't really have to do much. They've got that first initial snowball. They've got two turrets as well at the same time. This investment that they had in the earlier stages of the game in punishing Kate's mistake is going to start giving them returns at this seventh minute mark because now Kate is really far behind. Luis, he, at least he's level eight. He's caught up with the rest of the gang, but is it going to be enough? It, again, Kate just has, is forced to play defensively. I mean, all him freezing the lanes for at a certain point and then eventually just clearing it out because he wants to help his team. It's a battle for, for the purple buff once again. And Blacklist International are going to be putting all the stops. They even have Clint up top lane near the vicinity and Weiss already starting with the purple. Yeah, look at that. Purple is going to be taken away. Deadly catch and the instant chain with the retribution will be able to get it away. King now without a purple buff. Edward going in onto Mikey. Takes half HP away from him. Use it on the wing, but oh Blue my god. It's going to be the mid lane tier. One taken down for the airstrike zone away. The members prime taken very low. It is Louis. Oh. What are you doing? He goes in for the farm and instantly gets punished. Haji is right there. He's still able to live, but that was not the right move. Yeah, this is oppressive. Like Kate is getting a little desperate with their moves overall, and you can tell that even wise, he's re he's getting more and more comfortable here. Oh, oh deadly catch. Oh, actually, King going in for the Defiant Sword all the way to Wise right now. And actually, Wise is going to be able to out-damage him. Defiant Sword once again with the Tempest of Blades. But again, King, he has nowhere to go for the airstrike. Almost takes him down. Wise is just right there. But the Guiding Wind will be able to beat and help him out, out of that situation. Luis, though, caught on the 1v3, 1v2. Oh, He's yeah. taken down. Prime is next on the chopping block. And that is just everyone running away. Takashi is going to get zoned away. Forced to use the Falling Star Moon. King as well, using these abilities to get away. And Blacklist now with a 6,000 gold lead in the 8th minute. He wanted, really wanted to go for that kill. Unfortunately, Takashi as well as Mikey did not uh, connect with their ultimates. As Mikey was well behind the wall so that the Circling Eagle was just out of range, maybe a pixel out of range when Blacklist International Blue tried to retreat. And just as, as I finished one sentence, the turret in the mid lane fell against Oheb. This is how massive oh. their lead is. And Haji might go for the kill. Yeah, it's going to be Haji destroyed. popping that Tempest of Blades, forcing King to pop that Tempest of Blaze. He goes for the Finch boys, but the Wings by Wings can follow you everywhere, buddy. King keeps on trying to run away, but no, he jumps into the wrong side, and Ohem is right there with the quick draw. It's I, high noon. It's it's well played, in fact. It, oh my goodness, just the way that they're just having this strong coverage of the map and destroyed. making sure that they, it, like even when they have their defense ready, they have Overwatch all across the map to ensure that they can't go further than this. But now, they're going to be sitting on top of this Lord and there's Red nothing Kate can do. Every time they walk on inwards, 
deadly catch is going to deter them. Oh man, look at this. Blacklist International, even after taking the Lord, even after using their resources for something, they're still going again and again. They keep on fighting, but they're chilling at this point. Oh, chilling for Blacklist International as it was a clinical take on this game. Whenever they face up against Ling as well as uh, you know farm-dependent heroes like the Aldous, they have this suffocating moves that they do against their team, so that they against their opponents, so that they can easily take the game. And that uh, that purple buff take was so critical from Blacklist International. The way that they involve all of their members around that vicinity, so that Cade will not be able to form their, uh, to, to have a formation out there. All right, but let's take a, take a look at the siege right now. Blacklist is going in, but the effect has zoned them away just now, and that is the mid. And Inhibitor taken down for nothing. And 10,000 gold lead in 10 minutes. Edward goes over the knockoffs. Right, Takashi! Oh my god! Almost gets one shotted right there as Blacklist looks towards that top side. Louise already chunked really low, forced to back away. And Cade no has no has response. Mikey just using the time, using the guiding winds to try to bait the minions. But at this point, Feather Air Strike will oh, be able to what? prime away. He tried to cancel it. But look at Edward! He's just diving again and again onto the backside. Wise almost takes a kill onto Mikey. It's still a good defense, but all the inhibitor turrets will be Blue taken down just with the destroyed. first Lord. They're gonna go keep on going inside of the base, falling Star Moon, but no, that is not what you want. Look at this Blacklist. They have just done an amazing siege and they wanna continue. Well, I mean, how long can they hold this up here? The moment get Haji gets his Feathered Airstrike again, I think this might be uh, a little tough. I'm not gonna lie, it's not an easy game, and more importantly for Prime, he has been having a rough time. Oh, I like that. That rhyme, Edward going in for the knockout strike against two members, and Blacklist International once again. They're just they're, they're camping. They're camping at the base, man. And this is this is valid actually because Katie, they want to farm. And on, they they can keep oh. them in their base for a minute and they will not be able to farm. Yeah, look at that. Then the catch going in. Oh, strike and finishes oh. it off. Oh. It's gonna be Louise and Takashi taken down. Edward goes in for Prime. That is gonna be the cannonball to take him down. Winner's truncheon, just the style on their opponents as the base will just get shredded down. And that is match point to the Filipino champions. Ooh, that was a brutal, brutal game. A couple of micro mistakes really just helped uh, Blacklist small investments turn tenfold and they got checkmate at 11 minutes into the game with a 9k to 10k lead at that point. There's no coming back from that. And it was 11-0. Oof. Top it all off. Blacklist International, the proper term here is clinical. Every single thing that they did was perfect against this very greedy composition coming out from the Brazilian squad. They punished the Aldous at the top lane. It was a Clint, so much range on that Clint against the Aldous. Obviously, you will put that lane matchup in favor of the Clint. And in the mid lane, using the Matilda, uh, punishing the Matilda for his over aggression, using the Rafael as well as the Farsa in combination with the Bane to just take over the game. And like I said, there's no way that the, the Brazilian squad will be able to push that mid lane. And eventually the purple buff was overtaken by Blacklist International. Looking at the faces of Cade, I don't like where this is going, but LaFell and Leo, I'm throwing it back to you, buddy. Tell us what happened in the game. 